change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange What's up everybody? Welcome back to Shield Outdoors It's been a minute In fact, this is probably only the second or third video I've made for 2022 But I am back I had to take a long break Get some stuff done I've been in the gym But we're back And I have about a thousand dollars a fishing tackle to show y'all so we're gonna need to start rolling these videos out now the only thing I can ask of you the viewer my friends let's get me back on top of the algorithm I grew most of this channel on tackle reviews mystery unboxings things like that so we're back at it I got a thousand dollars of stuff to show you and I just need you guys to help me get back on top of that algorithm I need you to like comment subscribe i know it sounds cliche but that's the only way to get back on top of the algorithm and the faster i get back on top of that algorithm the more stuff i will have to give away to you guys so i appreciate it all the good stuff like comment subscribe all that good stuff okay 2022 i ordered so much stuff the other day but 13 fishing one three fishing i've heard it both ways i honestly don't even know comment below is it one three fishing or 13 fishing i don't even really know i did a video about some of their stuff last year but this year i got a bunch of the lures that i hadn't gotten to try yet some of their new stuff even some stuff that's so big i'm pretty sure this is how big the fish are that i catch to begin with so let's start looking at the lures that i bought this year and then let's look at a few of the lures that I've purchased again for this year and some of the lures from last year that you guys may not have gotten to see. So, let's start with some of these smaller bad boys, <laughs> okay? I decided to pick up a scamp. It's a little square bill. Now, it's a little claim to fame. Oh, that's what it looks like in the box. It's claim to fame as having a carbon bill. It says it has an airfoil carbon bill. What does that do? I don't even really know, but it has a really loud knocker in it. This is called the Disco Shad. Obviously very reflective, has tons of color to it, lots of glitter. It almost just looks like, it looks like in SpongeBob when they spray painted everything chrome. But I have a ton of shad on my local reservoir. This should do me pretty well. It's a smaller little bait, but the Scamp, Disco Shad. Let's see how much that cost me. Okay, so this is a little bit of a more expensive little guy, maybe because of that carbon bill, but I paid $11 for this. $10.99. The Disco Shad. I'll just throw everything over here. Actually, yeah, I'll put a bunch of stuff up there. Ooh, we're saving that one. The Warthog. I really, really wanted this lure one because the name kind of implies it's going to have a very erratic action right so hopefully it does but for two i wanted a little square bill like this i love a square bill that takes a very wide erratic action so i'm hoping that's what this does it goes about two to four feet deep and i love that they print it on the bill i love that because when i put this in my you know trays or when i throw this in my boat I will, without a doubt, I will forget how deep this is supposed to go. But the best part about this specific lure, and it's not just this lure, they have this color for other designs, but this is called Day Old Guac. This, it, I think it perfectly represents that. Kind of orange, kind of green, kind of baby poop, kind of baby poop colored. This looks like the nasty guac around the edges of the bowl when you wake up the next morning after a party and somebody left the guac out. And this, the hooks are super sticky. I do not like guacamole, but I'm hoping I love this color. All right. Let's get to this, let's look at this gigantic sucker. I wanna get good at swim baits and glide baits. And I thought, why not start now? This sucker only costs $20, which is pretty cheap in the glide bait game, if you know what I'm saying. $20 glide bait. This is called the Glidesdale. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, well, first off, shout out to 13 Fishing for having the best packaging in the industry right now, because apparently I can't even open it. This is called Rusty Bream. Obviously a little bit of green on the face, purple and blues. Lots of rattles, very hard body. 
a soft-ish tail. I can bend it and it's replaceable. You can buy extra tails, replacement tails. You know, I really don't have much to say about this besides it looks crazy and I like the way it looks and I hope I catch fish on it, but I'm not a huge glide guy, so I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out. All right, now, what is an unboxing without a frog? Come on now! I got this frog because I thought, this is kind of expensive. It was like $13 for this. Is $13 too much for a frog, a high quality frog? I don't know. Now the cool thing is, this is also the same color as the glide bait, or at least that's what they call it. This is called the Rusty Bream Trash Panda. It is black on top, oh my goodness. It's black on top, but it has the same color pattern on the sides as the glide bait did. Purple, blues, stripes, and then on the back we have purple and blue legs, like the little frilly legs, which I do like frilly legs over the realistic looking legs that some company have. Some companies have. It's just a soft frog. I'll have to see how this walks because I've never had this. I've never had the trash panda. But let me know in the comments, is $13 too much for a frog? We'll have to figure it out. And I, I don't know what's going on here with this like bed head. It's like sticking out to the side. I'm sure once it's wet, it will lay down. But it might just add a little bit more action to it. So the trash panda, $13 frog from 13 Fishing. And the last thing, oh no, it's not the last thing. I have two more things. The whippersnapper. So I have, I've already had Loco Specials. This is the Loco Special, and the color of this is called Fish Stick. The reason I ordered this last year is because I love a very realistic looking jerkbait. So the Loco Special 110, I ordered this last year. The, uh, the whippersnapper kind of has a resemblance to, how would I say this, a very high-end, very expensive jerkbait. Uh, made in China or Japan, somewhere over there. But other than that, they kind of look very similar. I don't know what the difference will be, but I've got a shad color in the whippersnapper, again, because I have a ton of shad on my local reservoir. Now, the most exciting lure that I wanted to reveal, some of you probably have already seen it, the Jabberjaw. If you're not familiar with what the Jabberjaw is, it is a crossover between a chatterbait and a square bill. And what I mean by that is the bill, the bill of, I just love unboxing lures. I am a tackle freak. I just love playing with my fishing lures. This bill moves. Can you guys hear that? Hold on, listen, listen, hold on. Let me hold the hooks. That is not a knocker inside the lure. That is the bill. The bill of this lure moves and it clicks on each side of the lure. So it's gonna be noisy, it's gonna be loud. It's a square bill, so hopefully we can dig it up against rocks, dig it uh, along timber, things like that. And the reason I went with this color, what is this color even called? Tweety Pie. I went with this color because I thought, okay, when am I gonna throw a super noisy, super chattery square bill? And I thought, probably when it's a little bit of muddier water, probably not gonna throw this in clear water. So I went with a brighter color, I went with this Tweety pie, kind of yellow, black on the ridge of the back. And I figured this is probably gonna be a great spring bait, you know, kind of in place of a chatter bait, but where I wanna be digging up against the, the bottom maybe, or bouncing it off the bottom a little bit more. Whereas a chatter bait kind of like just glides through the water, even if you're like right on the bottom, it just kind of coasts along. I'm thinking hopefully this will dig right into the bottom while chattering. So I wanted those brighter colors. And the black back is nice too. So there you have it, the Jabber Jaw. Now that's all the hard baits that I bought for this year. I have a ton of soft baits that I bought this year and that I had from last year. So I'll have to show you those real quick so you can kind of see what else, what other kind of products I have. Let's start with what caught my PB last year. My PB Indiana Bass, five pounds on the dot, about 200 yards outside my back door right here in my little tiny lake. It's a little 10 acre natural lake. It is not a retention pond. But the pleasure shad, this is the blackberry cobbler. This is the five inch. I was actually using a four and a half inch out there last year when I caught that big in. But I love this swim bait. It has a great action, a big fat body. It has the DOS boot. 
on the back of the tail, their their tails are called the Das Boot. It's just the shape of their lure, but it does kind of look like a foot. So the Pleasure Shad, I made sure to stock up on four and a half and five inch. And I got a ton of Blackberry Cobbler. I'm basically all the same color. I love a dark, dark swim bait, especially on my local, on this little lake right here behind us, there is no shad, only bluegill. My local reservoir, tons of shad. So you'll see me throwing a ton of silvers and whites out there, and you'll see me throwing a ton of blues, greens, maybe the rusty bream right out here on my local little lake. All right, I got a ton of, my name is Jif. I got a ton of those. It also has the Doss boot tail, but it's a much smaller lure. This is the Cinnamon Toast. I got this because it's a super natural looking color, kind of clear. Let's see, is this my name's Jeff as well? It is, and this color is called Purple Rain. They're clear with a purple like tint to the top of it. Let's talk about something that I'm not good at, shaky head. I've never been a good shaky head guy. Spinner baits and shaky heads and jigs. I don't know why, it's just never really been my thing. I'm not, I'm not afraid to fish a jig, but I straight up have never really given a shaky head a good try. So I got two of these BFF, Blunt Force Finesse. One is Sweet Red Chili Sauce and the other is Pimp and Purple. I love 13 Fishing's Pimp and Purple color. It is a clearish green loaded up with purple glitter. The Sweet Red Chili Sauce, kind of a classic pink color. When I'm looking at it in the light, it's like pink with green glitter but I wanted to give a shaky head a, a, a good, a good solid try. The BFF, another one that I really enjoyed last year. I like heavy drop shotting for largemouth bass. I don't know why, I just love to do it. And the jerk, this is called the jerk rabbit ear tail. I'm gonna get one of these out Ugh. so I can show you. I'll probably show you close ups of everything here, but I wanna get one of these out to show you these rabbit ears. 13 Fishing has several lures with these rabbit ears, including the Wobble Craw and some, uh, some of the other ones, but this is the Jerk. And I will put a big drop shot hook in the front of this, and I will just jerk this thing around on a drop shot, and it just seems to work on retention ponds. Here is the Ninja Crawl, a big fat craw down with big wide claws. And they have a swimming action to them. They are great as a trailer on a chatterbait, especially in this moldy orange. I use the moldy orange as a trailer on the Firecraw Jackhammer chatterbaits. And then I will use these dark blue ones also on a chatterbait when the water's real, real dark. So my spring chatterbait trailer, my muddy water trailer. I caught a good three and a half pounder on one of these uh, with my buddy Ty last year. And I got a ton of the Vertigo Minnow. It's a little subtle swim bait, very, very subtle. I drop shot these a lot as well, just cause that's what I like to do. I got some really itty bitty ones. I got some bigger sized ones. These are both, what are these called? Cinnamon toast, they're both orange. They're kind of like a clear orange. And then here is the wobble crawl like I talked about. Again with the rabbit ear tail. Now, they were sold out of these last year really quick online. I found these at a local bait shop. And you can see the big long ears these suckers are super wobbly. There's six legs, two giant antennas, two really long claws, and instead of like having a swim in action, these suckers are just so big, they just are constantly moving, even when the lure is sitting still. Whew, okay, what else we got? Oh, here's some of the pimp and purple I was telling you about earlier on the Ninja Craw. Green on one side, purple with glitter on the other. All right, if you guys like my photography type stuff, go check out Instagram. I take a lot of close-ups of these lures so you can see the exact detail and the exact colors before you try to buy. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other unboxings. Comment below. Get me back on top of that algorithm. I gotta go to the gym. Peace.